How's it going, people? Well, I'm feeling uh, kind of reflective as the 2017 ends. And I think I need to, my resolution is going to be to do more videos on this channel and put them up because I've actually got videos I made that it's like, eh, never mind, delete. I got a few viewers out there. I should give you guys something to look at once in a while. You know, a way of hanging out. Anyhow, I got an, a recent epistle from my good friends at the Church of Scientology. And um, this was like in the mail just the other day. Of course, I had to stop. I had vacation stop mail for the holidays, so I'm not sure exactly when I got this, but the date, postmark date is 21 December, and it's now uh, 28 December, so might be a week old. Anyhow, let's see what they sent me. It's always hard to tell. Anyhow, uh, should just go ahead and throw the whole thing here. But uh, uh, this I'll send back to them because they were kind enough to provide me with postage already paid. So I'll send them something nice. I don't know, maybe a Christmas card. Okay, uh, Hubbard Dianetics Foundation of the Capitol. It's a brief epistle. Probably an invitation of some kind. Dear Richard, you bought a book and a DVD from us back in 2011. It would be great to hear back from you about them. It might be. If I can make a video while doing it. Uh, is there anything you need or questions you have? Uh, best regards, uh, Reina Ladu, and I've heard of her before. I wonder if that's her Scientology name. It sounds a lot like Klaatu, Verata, Nikto. Anyhow, um, uh, yeah. Waste not, want not. Want not, definitely. All right, what do they send me here? Personal efficiency course. 70% of your life is spent working. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Make it work with Scientology. And they give you a little film reel. So we're going to do a little... Kind of like animation there, isn't it? All right, slow day. Oh, they, do, they look so happy. They look like, I don't know, like a Jehovah Witness uh, tract that happy except those are like drawings and these are people posing because they cheaper <sighs> they work for free practically matter of fact they'll pay you for the privilege of letting them work for you for free because you know all the all the good this uh this church is doing work is 70 percent of life and when you know how life operates. You can be successful at work, home, and life. You could have just said you can be successful in life. It was very efficient of you. You could have just said, you know, you could be happy. <laughs> You'll be successful in your life. You'll be a winner. <sighs> Based on L. Ron Hubbard's Scientology book, The Problems of Work. Ah, tailor made for me. You know what? I don't really have problems at work anymore. I <laughs> don't. <coughs> I don't try to win anymore. I just like endure. I let people win. It's like, there you go. I'm always saying positive shit. Because, you know, I'm in the public eye. So, 
pretty successful. I was employee of the month last month. How about that? I haven't got my laminated plaque yet. I'll show it on one of my videos. I've got like a dozen of those because I've worked there almost 28 years. But anyway, same place. Uh, yeah, I don't really have problems at work. I mean, I wish they'd fire me so I can get some unemployment. Because I got an apartment in Sacramento because I my job of 28 years is there. But this house is in Butte County. In Forbes Town. Population 320. Yeah, it's where I want to live <laughs> and will someday without their help. Problems of Work, the personal efficiency course, gives you the Scientology knowledge you can apply immediately and succeed. Then you don't need them anymore, right? Mission accomplished. They did their job. Why are people like in it for like their whole goddamn life? If it's just an, a course, you, a course, doesn't it run its course eventually? Not if you, not if you got a, you know, not if you don't mind uh, stacking up some debt and maybe not being successful in life. Uh, success begins with the personal efficiency course. Attend a course in Scientology. Life is stable and rewarding when you can handle it. And this is a simple and practical way to learn how. Doing all right, actually. <laughs> I'm sure you can help somebody. Yeah, you can help them out. I'm doing fine. <sighs> Just amusing myself here. Oh. Hey, sing it. I'm not sufficiently silly yet to read the rest of this. Mm, a little single malt. Uh, very nice. Very nice. Okay. Uh, trying to be efficient here. I'm multitasking. Oh, that's so nice. Mm. Nectar. <clears throat> here is the means to new ability and lasting security in the workplace for those who need that. My, my advice, keep your money and just get your act together. No charge. <laughs> You're welcome. <sighs> All from application of Scientology to the work-a-day world with the Problems of Work by L. Ron Hubbard. <sighs> Conduct it by trained specialists, probably the previous class's graduates. <laughs> yeah. You can move up pretty quick there. <sighs> this course provides personal instruction in application of Scientology tools, because it's a technology patented but kind of redolent of so many other things. Like Paramahansa Yogananda's work. He came around in the 20s, wasn't it? Yeah. On what does success depend? On handling life? On handling life, right? Uh, let's see. Is it intelligence? That's part of it. Is it hard work? Yeah, especially when combined with the previous. You can use all these things at once, you know. No charge. Or is it luck? Well, I believe in good fortune. You could say that's lucky, but it happens everywhere. It just needs to happen to me, that's all. 
<sighs> By knowing the underlying rules of life, because there's rules. That's how you control reality. <sighs> and applying their principles. Well, I mean, principles aren't exactly uh, rules. It's a little different. Sort of similar. Okay. Damn, that's tasty stuff. Mm. Highly recommended. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah. All better. Uh, by knowing the underlying rules of life and applying their principles, you will achieve security in your job, relationships, and in all other areas of living, ensuring success. Hey, you know, you can make promises, right? You get them in the next life, by the way. It pays. No. <laughs> oh, this one's a different. <laughs> but you do have a next life. And a whole bunch before. Yeah. All right. I'm not sure which direction I should read this. I'm going to read it this way. All right. Confusion. Because I'm confused. Learn to conquer chaos by implementing a simple principle that stabilizes confusion and creates order. So, like I said, we can we can like, shape our own reality. You know, put it in a, a big box or a bubble around yourself, you know. Yeah, that's what you need. By understanding what confusion is actually made of. He's got the recipe. You can stop it instantly. That's nice to know. Doing okay so far. But if I need their help, I can always get in touch with them. Anatomy of control. They don't have a recipe this time, but they're going to give us an anatomy lesson. Everyone uses control. All activities require it. So you needed to tell us that. But to many people, control has a bad name. You don't say. Learn the difference between good and bad control and being out of control. Because you need someone controlling you if you can't control yourself, apparently. <sighs> Thirsty work here. The, the factors determining your ability to control are explained in this course. I'm, I'm starting to get kind of interested now. I mean, make my own reality? That'd be awesome. Yeah, because so far I've just been going with the flow with the one we all, you know, seem to have in common. And then there's that operating system they put over it. And they offer us all kinds of upgrades on that. <sighs> Affinity, reality, and communication. Tell the truth and be affable. <laughs> Affinity. <laughs> okay. Creating, understanding, 
and improving human relationships hinges on three things, because they have such a good track record with keeping people married and helping folks out. Of course, that's all fake news. That's right. Um, three things. <coughs> Affinity, reality, and communication. And in brackets, they have ARC. Uh, patent pending. Uh, ARC. Okay. <laughs> Learn how ARC, see they're going to start using it already, uh, is used to improve every part of life. ARC. Three things. It always comes down to that, doesn't it? Uh, ARC and the tone scale. Don't forget the tone scale, because there's a musical structure going on here. Or you could just read, I don't know, like Aristotle's Poetics. <laughs> they did and ripped a lot of that off, too. Um, is it possible to predict if someone is going to be trustworthy, a good employee, or a good friend. Human emotions can seem to be unpredictable. Yeah, but they got it figured out. I've actually gotten pretty good at it myself. All by myself. You know, you just got to pay attention to life. You know. And stop trying to win every fight. Learn instead. Listen. I do that. That's all. You don't have to agree, but it's cool to listen if you got time. I let people talk to me all the time. I, I mean, I end up with Jehovah Witnesses going, oh, look at the time. We're going to have to come back to be continued. I still got to do their book, too. It was boring me, that's all. Um, anyway, um, yeah, human emotions can seem to be unpredictable if one does not understand the tone scale. Yeah, it's called reading people. And they've talked about that long before LRH put his patent on it. Go to LibriVox, man. They got a whole bunch of like self help books from like the turn of the century and before. Public domain, free download. LibriVox.org. Check it out if you don't know about it. <sighs> you can get literate easy. You can do it in traffic. Um, these are vital tools for handling all manner of human relationships. Yeah, that's nice. It's the eight dynamics. He got this. He's got this all worked out. That LRH was a genius. Yeah, it's so clear. Oh yeah, eight dynamics, huh? Okay. Discover how life can be understood by compartmentalizing. Wait, compartment. Compartmenting uh, it into eight main divisions. They'd have to be divisions if there's eight of them. And <sighs> the eight dynamics is a Scientology breakthrough. Damn it! It's so fucking awesome. <laughs> I'm just blown away here. The Eight Dynamics is a Scientology breakthrough that opens up an entirely new comprehension of life. Someone was paying attention and wrote it all down and 
you can pay them to teach you how to pay attention and learn to shit yourself. Uh, but it'll cost a whole lot more money, and you'll have affinity and reality, communication, and all that. Yeah. Scientology Breakthrough that opens up an entirely new comprehension of life. It shows how it can be lived to the fullest. Nope. Damn it. Exhaustion. Okay. Not recommending it. This is going on too long. Sorry, folks. And I'm probably not going to edit it because I'm lazy. And I don't want it. Very mm, nice. Exhaustion. Many people believe that the answer to exhaustion is energy, like a Red Bull or something, or one of them rock stars. All right. Except this is like a. I, you know, you talk to ashtrays and stare at each other, you know, do the stare-out contest and for money that you pay. <laughs> and you get to have your readings taken. I did that. That was fun. Uh, funny. Uh, mm. But in truth, energy has little, if anything, to do with it. Understand exhaustion and learn an exact procedure to anyone, wait, that anyone can apply to defeat it. I just go take a nap. I'm fine with it. Don't cost nothing. And I could do that at home, or in my hammock out front. I love living up on a mountain. <sighs> oh, too bad I only do it on the weekends and vacation. I own a house, and I got to pay rent because I don't want to drive 90 miles one way to go to work. All right. The one who succeeds, because that's what it's all about. Hopefully it's me. Let's find out. <clears throat> what exactly does it take to be successful? Here is a summary of the principles and elements presented in the Personal Efficiency Course, capitalized, by understanding, integrating, and applying them into your daily life, success can be yours. That one kind of fizzled. Ah, I need another beer. Hang on. Sorry, I'm taking so long. Uh, all right, that's better. Mm. What exactly does it take to be successful? Here is a summary of the principles and elements presented in the Personal Efficiency course by understanding, integrating, and applying them into your daily life. Success can be yours. I already read that, but it was... I think I did better the first time, actually. <sighs> I should edit that, but I won't. Anyway, it's all about this. Life is composed of seven tenths work. One tenth familial one-tenth political, and one-tenth relaxation. Some of us just, like, 
skip the political and double up on the relaxation. <sighs> My free advice there. <sighs> You're welcome. Uh. Here, then, is Scientology applied to that crucial seven-tenths of existence. The Personal Efficiency course contains the senior principles and laws, God, laws, principles, rules, it's so dominant, anyway. <laughs> The principles and laws which apply to every endeavor, every problem of work, for they are the discoveries which lay bare the core of these problems and explain the very fabric of life itself. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was only kidding, you know. <laughs> I could do it. I was trying to act serious. Ah. Uh. The breakthroughs detailed here include that about the fabric of life. <coughs> oh man, I was waiting for that one. Mm. <coughs> Hell, lunch still wasn't bad. Mm. It's all right the second time. Anatomy of confusion and its cure. See, that's this breakdown here of the. How they're going to help you. I guess they're... How they've broken everything down. The doctrine of the stable datum. The most fundamental law of work and living. It's all living. And all living is involves work. Some people love what they do, that's all. Sometimes work is all right. It ain't bad, you know. I'm doing all right. No complaints. Uh, the anatomy of control and how to turn bad control to good. Oh, wait, they didn't. Sorry. They had no, didn't have quotations around good. Uh, my bad. Mm. The secret, and that's uh, in quotations, secret, of efficiency. Well, what do you mean by secret if you got the quotations around it, like... Emphasis. <laughs> We're winking at you. <laughs> anyway, yeah, secrets. You can be initiated part of something bigger than you. Yes, you can be a cog. It's so gestaltic. <sighs> yeah, count me out. I like having my own place. And selfishly indulging in life without restrictions, except that I don't want to do anything shitty. I'm fine with treating people nice and kind of hope they'll treat me nice. And when you're dead, you're dead forever. Sorry. 
And that Santa Claus business, sorry, ain't true. <sighs> the most fundamental elements of life, efficiency, wait, no, affinity, reality, and communication, the eight dynamics, and how life can be understood by compartmentating it into eight divisions. So this, they're repeating themselves here, but that's fine. Uh, and the rock bottom course of exhaustion. Uh, rock bottom cause of exhaustion. With the powerful Scientology processes that return the energy of youth. It'll get rid of your crow's feet and all that shit. All the laugh lines are going to like fill out. <laughs> no collagen in injections and Botox needed. Anyway. All right, now they're done with the, the bullet points. <laughs> here then is wait here then is not only technology to bring stability to the workplace but the but the magic and they didn't use quotations around magic the magic processes hocus pocus <laughs> to return joy itself to all of life <laughs> for this is Scientology <laughs> Oh, man. Too much. Enroll on the personal efficiency course. Enroll on the... No, I'm not as thick as you drunk I am. No, it says that. Enroll on the personal efficiency course. And I'm a little bit tipsy. Use the enrollment form on the back and send it in today or contact Registrar at your Church of Scientology. Attend the Personal Efficiency course. Scientology Applied to Life. And in Scientology courses are available daily. You could freeze frame that, because I guess we're done. So. Oh, nothing like a nice fire. Oh, well, I guess all I got left is this. I'm going to hang on to this and wait for any comments to this video. Anyone that had the tenacity to follow this video all the way to its conclusion gets to suggest what I put in this. And nothing mean, all right? No cat shit or dog shit. Nothing mean. Those are folks. Those are people. I don't want to fuck with people. They asked me to return this to them. They even paid. I put a lot of tracks in them. How about a recipe? That might be cool. Oh, I put personal... Uh, wait, I put... Uh, Oh, what is it? Oh, God, I actually attended it at that church when I was a kid, and I don't remember what it is now. Well, when I was a teenager. <clears throat> Personal Realization Foundation. Paramahatsa Yoganandas. I put some of their tracks in this. Because they call it technology, too. <sighs> anyway. Send a comment and tell me what I should put in there. Recipe? Uh, tract? Uh, I don't know, a page from a book, you know, a page from something, an article. 
Let me know. I got a bunch of these that I haven't sent yet. Because I did videos of these and I haven't put them up. And now they're old. I don't know if I want to put them up. I don't know. Let me know. It's a lot of bullshit like this. Anyway, um, let me know. Did you learn anything out of that muddle of mine? Because I really, I can't go back and read it again. <laughs> Oops. <sighs> but, oh, man, it got a lot warmer in here after that. <laughs> anyway, stay tuned. Chime in. Uh, let me know that there's people breathing out there that actually watched this whole video. Because, I mean, I'm not one of those mega YouTubers and I don't even give a shit. <laughs> but it's cool when people respond. So, peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. I'm doing pretty good myself. No complaints.